A neurologist is trying to sue a Thai restaurant for apparently serving an appetizer that was so spicy it has actually permanently burned her throat and tongue. Ah! Yeah, this is going viral for a lot of different reasons right now. Harjazlene Walia, MD, Andrew is a neurologist who graduated from NYU. She runs Headache Away in San Jose, Andrew. She is suing coup de Thai restaurant in Los Gatos for serving her Dragon Balls that were too spicy and unfit for human consumption. Of course, this sparked a big firestorm of comments on various platforms. Dude, it is crazy. We got a lot of thoughts and we got a lot of commentary and a lot of comments to go through, so please hit that like button if you guys enjoy the news that we cover. Uh, David, first of all, this sounds ridiculous to people. We cover everything from silly to serious, but this is definitely silly because the story sounds silly. Because how can and for anybody out there who's eaten spicy food, which a lot of people have, you know that you might, it might burn your tongue in a sensational way for a while. It might even give you diarrhea maybe, but it's really not gonna cause permanent damage. I mean, Paul Rudd ate all the wings on hot ones and he's okay. Yeah, I mean, some physicians had to come out and say, listen, it may cause nausea and some burning feeling, but it is not associated with permanent tissue damage. I think that this article or this story is going so viral right now because it's sort of fitting in with people think, thinking that America is like focused on the wrong things and that people are trying to get money from frivolous lawsuits because there was something regarding McDonald's, right? Yeah, there was a chicken nugget lawsuit that just got settled and the lady won. Uh, because chicken nuggets had burned her daughter. I think that was more legit because that had to do with the heat of the food, which I could see does burn. Like it's like a hot rock, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Th hot things burn, but spicy things causing damage, like skin damage to your throat and esophagus, that's a crazy claim. I also think this is going viral for a second reason, Andrew. People would not think that a highly ranked uh, or a, a academically accomplished, medically accomplished person like a neurologist would do such a thing. Would you agree with that? Like a lot of people hold people in the medical professions to a higher standard. It's true. No, I mean, she's educated and she understands health. So she either understands something that we don't or she's about to make a big mistake. Yeah, she's because a neurologist. She's not a gypsyologist. <laughs> I don't know. And then number three, I do think that people are surprised that she's Indian, to be honest. Yeah, no. Because a lot of people think that Indian people already eat spicy food, so why wouldn't they be able to handle Thai food? Because curry came from India originally. Yeah, so, I mean, they serve Thai curry that originally, curry does obviously come from, right. yeah, India originally. But anyways, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, well, now I'm even more interested in trying their food. How dare she try to sue them for just giving everybody the thing that they wanted? Because, Andrew, spice has been a national trend, like, gastronomically, you know, like everybody's desire for yeah. spice has been surging upwards in America. So why would you punish somebody for just giving people what they want? You know, like you can just, if you eat enough spicy food, you can kind of look at a dish and be like, ooh, that's spicy. That dish looks spicy, but not that spicy. All those chilies are dried or fried. Right, they're not and fresh, right? Yeah, they're not fresh. So it's like already half the, the, the hotness is out of it. I don't know. This is <laughs> The second comment section, Andrew, came from a bunch of Indians. That, you know, they're obviously probably more down with the, you know, Pan-Asian ASU, you know, type of thing going on at school. And they were like, wait, she's Indian? She's a disgrace to South Asians. Mm. I can't believe somebody with the name Harjaz Lean would be able to, like, not handle spice. Right. She, I can't believe she's being an Indian Karen. She's making us look bad. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean... Uh, there was even comments about her, like what type of Indian she is. Oh, she's a Punjabi. Now the food's not as spicy up there. Right. I'm like, dude, stop it. Come on. Like, no, some people know. were like, yeah, I'm South Indian. She can't be South Indian because we always eat spicy food. The Punjabis are like that. Stop well, fighting, guys. Right Punjabi, now, I don't know. Maybe we, it turned we into need a, to ban against a pro this, provincial this. state tribalism <laughs> thing. Somebody said, can I sue white restaurants for being too bland when my food is too boring and tasteless? And somebody said, she's not white. And somebody said, yeah, how come everybody's trying to jump on white people for no reason? Everybody just assumed that she was was white when she wasn't even white to begin with. Do you think it's true when these stories come out? You, We know how it is, Andrew. On the internet, people want to comment before they do their due diligence, right? The internet comments are not about due diligence. People just get a feeling that it's a white woman named Karen, and they're going after her. Yeah, what, here's what I would say real quick for the white people watching. First of all, you're off the hook on this one, all right? Don't worry. You're good. You're good money. I'm sure there's a plenty of white people who have had the Dragon Balls before. And, and they're, and they're going to go to <laughs> coup d'etat now. Yeah, and they're going to go back and be like, see, I can do it. Yeah. See, I don't know what this Harzlin G girl is doing. But I would say, like, uh, I mean, I don't think it's being, that. that's a joke, obviously. I just don't think white people need to be like, oh, you're being racist against us. I was like, man, we're not, there, there's You know what it is? It goes to show teasing. you, bro. There's any teasing. In 2023, Andrew, anybody can be a Karen. Yeah. 
That's not yeah. just a white thing anymore. But also, you have to understand this is the nature of the internet. So anybody's just gonna assume anything. Well, everybody just makes the most like stereotypical baseline read, right? Yeah, like, just well, that's paints why everything with a broad brush. The comment section is stupid sometimes. Somebody said typical American silliness. I cannot possibly be responsible for my own actions. So let's hire a lawyer. So this kind of goes to basically people complaining about just like man. America's head is not in the right place right now. Everybody's trying to get rich. So there were some theories that uh, Hard Jazz Lean's like headache away was clinic wasn't doing well. So she's trying to get the money from the Thai restaurant. And a lot of people are bringing up like, man, is it is it different when you sue a major corporation like McDonald's versus a mom and pop Thai restaurant? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, I don't even know. Even if she wins this and she has a good case, how much money is she even going to get? Also, I'm just curious to know what her case is because it just seems so ridiculous right. that I'm just, I am curious to be like, yo, what evidence is there? Right. She said, order spicy stuff. Sue's because it's spicy. Make it make sense. She needs to get her brain checked even though she's the neurologist. Mm. Somebody said Ben Carson is also a world-class neurosurgeon. He's literally one of the best neurosurgeons on the planet. However, he is a complete moron in any other topic aside from brain surgery. So this kind of was a comment about people just believing people in society with very difficult 12, 15, 20-year degrees. Are they necessarily... Uh, more well, at a more higher moral standard or intellectual standard for other aspects uh, of life that are not related to you their know, field there of study. There was a time when, like, if you were in a village, the doctor was like the smartest person that you just had to trust because they knew the biology and their job is to treat people and help people. And the most people. logical, right? Yeah, and like you know, I don't want to take that away from doctors right now. So I, yeah, I would still hold doctors and MDs to a higher standard. I expect them to understand the physiological effects that things have on their body and biology better for sure i would um yeah the loss was the leader in uh, that show lost too wasn't the doctor the leader yeah I yeah think. the doctor I was the leader know. in the show lost right so. somebody said uh sounds like she may have had some sort of physical allergic reaction to, or like something like medication for example the chemicals so maybe she's just drawing that conclusion that the spice triggered something like a pre-existing condition or something that's unique to her body and then it cascaded yeah. and now she's suing for I, the cascading effects. I, ju I just think no one's ever heard of a case like this so that's why it's stupid because even with the McDonald's thing, McDonald's also got sued a long time ago for making their coffee too hot. So there's ki it kind of makes sense. You know, food can be too hot. First of all, I love McDonald's, but I'm just saying, yeah, the food right. can You're be saying temperature-wise makes yeah. a lot more sense than Scoville capsicums, Dude, right? what I think, David, what do you think about this theory? It was so hot and spicy, I mean, it was so spicy that she panicked. And then she drank a whole hot bowl of Tom Yum to dilute the yeah. spice. And then that burned her, so her esophagus. So actually, it was the soup that did that was too hot. Yeah. Where she was trying to wash down the spice. I don't know. That's It's only kind of a weird lawsuit. And it's funny that you said that, Andrew. Because apparently in the lawsuit, she says, I asked for some yogurt to cool my mouth down and I was not given any yogurt. And that's included in the lawsuit to strengthen her case. Well, because they don't have yogurt at a Thai restaurant. Yeah, because they don't eat yogurt. Well, yeah, there's, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe yeah, I don't know. Maybe man. hot pot restaurants would have, you know, their Chinese yogurt yeah, available. The Beijing Swan Night, yeah. right? Somebody said, man, all the takoyaki burn lawsuits I could have started or Shaolong Bao, uh, Shaolong Bao lawsuits, I really missed out. That's pretty funny. Yeah, those foods definitely do a, a kind of can burn your mouth. David, I burned the top of my mouth the other day eating that chicken chimichanga. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. A, I you, had, you had a fried chicken no. chimichanga the other day. Um, Somebody said, man, Indians eat a lot of spicy foods, but the thing is, you know, different spices like from uh, other cultures might affect you differently. Somebody was basically saying, if you grow up eating a certain type of spice, you can handle those spices. But when you go to another culture with a different geography, different climate, obviously different peppers, you are not necessarily able to have that same threshold of tolerance for those peppers. Guys, I'm just saying, exhibit A, hot ones. You got white celebrities eating spicy ass wings. I'm just saying, they all survived. I'm just saying, Paul Rudd survived. But they have their yogurt. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Anyway, uh, let's get to our takeaways, Andrew. What do you think this is? Is this embarrassing for this uh, neurologist? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. They, I mean, dude, you know, like her Yelp reviews were already bad not, before this. They're like in the gutter right nah, now. I, I think that this is really bad for her business. I think she's going to have to move her practice if she wants to be anywhere else because people are going to hate her for this. Just PR reasons wise. I think 
I don't know what kind of money grab this is. This doesn't seem like an easy one. I don't know if she's going to get a lot of money because Coop, Coop de Tai, it's still a mom and pop. Even though it's a nice mom and pop, it's still not going to have that much money. Yeah, so, somebody was saying like she might be getting like 50K max even if she figured out a way to win. Yeah, so I'm just not even understanding what her play is here. And I just don't see how it's possible. But here's the thing. If she really does have skin damage in her throat, esophagus, and tongue, which apparently she probably has to for this for a lawyer to even pick up this case, how did she get it? And what type of burns is it from? It doesn't sound like that's what cooked chilies do right impossible it, it's gonna be a pretty crazy court presentation in the civil lawsuit to figure out like how the dragon balls lead to this yeah that led to this 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 yeah it's 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 so goofy um do you think there's any chance andrew because i we don't know what happened right i don't want to go against her case 100 percent because obviously i wasn't there i don't know do you think it's possible that food is just getting so spicy and so trendy that for some people with maybe weaker immune systems or you know there's that uncle roger meme of like why so weak you know what uh, I mean? Like, some people just cannot handle it, but they're trying to get on the trend, but they can't handle the trend. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, there's just no way this dish... I'm looking at the dish right now, literally. <laughs> like, literally, it just looks like fried chicken balls. Like, I just... Dude, that doesn't even look spicy at all, man. You're saying she just saw the I McNugget just, lawsuit and I she just went for it, I can't believe it, huh? man. I cannot. I, this is silly, man. And last but not least, Andrew, I want to ask this question. Do you think that like business owners, if this happens more and more frequently, they're gonna feel like, man, opening up a business serving the public is not even worth it. Because now every customer that comes in could be a frivolous lawsuit. And even if I win, I gotta spend the money to lawyer up and fight it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope this lawsuit doesn't really go through. First of all, you can start to sue anybody. Like there can be news about me suing you. You know what I mean? Like it, it just, just because I'm suing you doesn't mean I'm going to win or doesn't even mean that it's going to reach another level. So I think it's at the beginning levels and I really hope Coupe de Thai or Coup de Thai doesn't have to spend any money fighting this because it's such a ridiculous case. And yeah, I do think that the judge is going to have to make a decision because this is going to set precedent for a lot of other businesses. You're right that it's going to scare businesses uh, in even starting up and serving spicy food at all if they know that they can get sued for it. So I, I hope it doesn't win. Now, first of all, if somehow she really did get burned, I mean, I guess rightfully so, but it just seems like, I guess I want to see the case. And yes, I do think you're right that the judge is going to have to make a really big decision here because if she wins then it's gonna scare a lot of business owners from serving spicy food, knowing that they could get sued for it. So yes, I, I do think this sets precedent. So, so I hope she doesn't win unless she's supposed to win. Yo, I don't know. You know how Roe versus Wade was a landmark case, Andrew? Is Harjaz Lean versus Kude Thai about to be a landmark case for the spicy movement? Oh man. Yo, you know how many Sichuan restaurants are gonna be are sweating right now, like thinking about this case? Like, I hope she did. Listen, I don't know how she got we burned. We want to keep serving the spice. Our customers, they love it. But I don't want to get sued. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let us know in the comments down below like how silly this is. Have you ever had food so spicy you thought it actually damaged your mouth? I don't know. She's a neurologist. Maybe it's all in her head. So, anyways, please hit that like button, everybody. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.